So you can see Dr. Crento. Yes, is that the, the doctor that does radiation? No, um, I'm with Dr. Hightower. Uh -huh. And okay. she's... Um, they just did a move, and I'm not quite sure now where they are. Well, Hightower's so in, in two places. She's here. And then and Cedar Lake. She, and, yep, and then she... Um, and so, um, radiation will be at the end. Mine is the, my total thing is the 16 weeks of chemo. Okay. And it'll be, she's doing the three parts because my, my tumor was a little larger than most of them. Okay. And they did the scan and it wasn't any place else? Yeah, it wasn't any place else. Okay. And um, the tumor was also aggressive. Okay. So, so they, right. So they end up taking off the ten of the joints. Well, I'm glad you went and got checked out because a lot of women don't. They, when they get tired, they figure, well, I guess I'm just getting older. Well, I guess I didn't sleep good yes. last night. Where and, is it um, she's had a, a mastectomy. Right, a right mastectomy mm -hmm. already. So it, it's gone. Yes. So this is just preventative from this point. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was just. I was doing that, and that was the problem. But because I knew my body, I kept going, okay, I know we just moved here. I know it was the kind of distress that, that you know, being in a new place, but I, it was lasting too long. And then I was right. getting unexpected weight. Um, I would wake up with headaches, mm -hmm. and not hangover headaches, like mm -hmm. just for no reason, mm -hmm. you know, not hungry, not, I mean, so there were other things that were going on that made me right. say something is wrong. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm glad you paid mm -hmm. attention because with it being aggressive, it could have easily gone to this way. Because I was already stage two at the time they found it. Mm -hmm. So um, the good thing was it was only in the first um, first two left noise, so it had not traveled. But because it was such a large, larger than what they normally see and aggressive they took all 15 of the left ones. Okay. So mm -hmm. and that was just that mm -hmm. all the protection there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. to tetracycline. Mm -hmm. um, 
You got the club. <laughs> we go yes. kick it at the club. VIP, free liquor, <laughs> <laughs> free mittens. I don't know. Free food. Uh -uh. This is Mr. Steve. He has been here supporting me through this whole way. This baby is tired. He went to work yesterday. Well, all week yesterday was his Friday. And... She bought me a new hat. Yes, I bought my baby a new hat, and it actually glows in the dark, too. Yeah, but it glows too much lighter. I know, but my baby deserved it. It's just a hat, but I just wanted to give him something to let him know that I really love him, and I appreciate him for... His hard work, his love of me, his patience. This man has truly been really, really, really patient and this has been very stressful. And then after work, we drove all the way to our sweet baby's game in Columbia. And then we drove all the way back home last night and we had to be back up at 4.30 this morning to be here at six. It is now 6.35 and they have already started all the prep work for my port. So, this is part four of breast cancer awareness. 